Hi, welcome back. We are in module four. Get into the exciting stuff where it's talking all about increasing your range, getting some of those high steps and low notes. This is hard stuff, but it's good stuff. And it's the things that make your voice the best, honestly. It's what makes it the difference of the people who just kind of sing for the heck of it and the people who know how to do it well and who can make a song just sound amazing and those belting notes. And when someone just rocks that high note, you're like, yes. And that's what I want for you. That's so exciting. So it's really all about your break today. Now, this is something that took me a long time in college to get. So just a mentally prepare yourself that might not be one of those things that you just click right in and it happens right off the bat for you, but it might be, take a lot of practice. It might take a lot of these warm ups that I'm giving you. It might take slowing down a bunch and checking your body and checking your open breath and your yawning and all those building blocks that we gave you earlier on in these different modules. So this is really important. If high notes is the main thing that you've been really excited about getting to, and you just jumped ahead and jumped into this module first, please go back, look at the other modules first, and then work your way to this. Because like I said earlier, each of these things are building blocks. Your deep breath is super important for reaching those high notes. And if you haven't done module one and really worked with your diaphragm and getting really deep, deep stomach breath like that in there, it's really gonna be hard to get your high notes. So make sure you do module one, two, and three, relaxing the body, all those different things, the yawn breath before you come to this module and work through this one, okay? It's very important. Now, this module and the next module five are gonna go kind of hand in hand because it's all about um, singing through those harder notes and those high, that higher section and the different placement. The next one is on the hard palate, which is the roof of your mouth. If you can feel it, it feels really hard. It's called your hard palate. That makes sense, I hope, for you. We'll get to that and do even be more explanation of it the next thing around, and we'll give you some better warm-ups for how to, how to feel when it's in the front or your face on that hard palate versus when it's in the back of your throat. If you can feel the back here, if you feel it feels really soft, it's called your soft palate. We're going to touch on that right now in this lesson really briefly, but next lesson there'll be a lot of explanation for it. So in case you're still really confused at the end of this lesson, don't worry. This one isn't for explaining that. It's just um, we'll get into it in a little bit here. So hopefully you can understand a little bit of just what I'm talking about when I say to aim things towards the front of your face or your the hard part of your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. That hard palate, the roof of your mouth. All right. Now, here's the fun thing about this. So you have two different voices, technically. It's called your chest voice, which are your low notes. And the reason they call it actually the chest voice is because that's where your sound is gonna be resonating. So if you sing a low note with me, like boo, <laughs> or any low note that you have, do, do for the ladies, or boo for the men. If you feel that your chest resonates, you can actually feel it on your hand like this, like that. Now, if you sing a high note, you feel it in your head resonate, so we call that your head voice, okay? I'm gonna be talking, flipping back and forth talking about those, so I want you to have an idea for what I'm talking about when I say that. Now, here's the thing that we are not going to do during this lesson, or coming up in the future. You might have done it in the past, but that is your past singing voice, and now you're onto a new free singing voice and a free you. So, coming up, here's what I want you to be very careful that we are not doing. We don't wanna avoid the high notes. I know I've had multiple students who just say, oh, I'll just sing all my songs down low because I can't get to the high notes. Bummer, that is a huge bummer. You don't wanna avoid those high notes. Those belting notes sometimes are the most powerful, the most amazing songs have those high notes in there that you can just soar. You know what I'm talking about when you heard someone hit that note and it's just like, ba-boom, and you're like chills in your whole body. I just love it. So we're not gonna avoid the high notes from now on out. We are not gonna be scared and back down, okay? We are not, however, also we are not going to just push your chest voice up higher and higher and higher. Remember I said the chest voice is your low notes. Do So you're not just gonna keep pushing, oh won't you stay with me? Okay, you're not gonna push for your low notes up higher into your head voice where you technically shouldn't be. Okay, your head voice is with your high notes. What we're actually gonna do in this module is attempt to have a, a combination, a blend of the two and call it your middle voice, okay? So it's not gonna only be your high, doo, not gonna only be your low, boo, but it's gonna be a beautiful combination of the two, all right? It's gonna be stay with me. That'd be great. And you won't be able to tell necessarily when you're going from one or the other, it'll be just a really smooth combination, which is what we're going for. Now, one other thing that we are not going to do, and the last thing, is we are not just going to sing light. 
You can sing light and still hit the notes. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. That's still hitting the notes technically, right? You're not off by any means, but you're not full. You're not like, yeah, this thing is awesome. You're not using all your proper technique. You're not singing in a way that is the best voice that you can possibly be, where it will be free, where it will be loose and open, and it will just resonate in your body, which is what's so awesome about singing. It does. It shakes your body, which is so fun. You can feel it, you know, especially if you sing a song that you're really connected with and you're really um, feeling those lyrics. It can just be so powerful, which I love. You're not necessarily going to get that um, when you're only singing light. I want you to be able to have different tools in your belt that you can pull out. You can sing light sometimes, yes, great, beautiful. But I want you to have that powerhouse too that you can pull that tool out when you need to. So I want you to be free to go wherever you want, high notes, low notes, however that is, express yourself in the way that we love to do as singers and it's so therapeutic and great without any shame. So super important part that we talked about last module, I wanna especially emphasize that you're making sure as you're singing in this lesson that you're not feeling tense in your shoulders, in your jaw. We wanna get rid of all that tension. So as we're singing through these higher notes and through this break, you're gonna be um, not tight at all. Okay, we don't want that tension. The tension it will actually keep us from being able to get the full open sound and it'll actually cut off the air in a way that it'll just be like, stay with me. It's like Russian roulette with your voice. You kind of are going for that high note when you're singing tense and when you're singing squeezing and pushed and you're not really sure if you're gonna hit it or if it's gonna break or crack and you, I never want that and you don't want that either. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with one of my favorite warm-ups. This one is just called EO and it's gonna go like this. Mm. All right, we're gonna start with one of my favorite warm-ups. It's gonna go like this. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o, e Pretty simple, just going back and forth, back and forth. But the E is the checkpoint. So every time you get to an E, I want you to feel it in the front of your face. Some people call it the mask of your face like this. I call it your hard palate because it is the roof of your mouth. E now, if you're having a hard time feeling the E, singing is just as much mental and trying to get aware more and more of your body as it is um, technical. So if you, at first, it's sometimes it's hard to feel for people. If you wanna do an ugly E, sometimes it's easier to feel the stronger the E that you do. So you can make it almost sound like the Wicked Witch of the West. Like E, O, E, O, which is all right for right now until you can feel it. If you start feeling it, then you can back off a little bit more and just have a beautiful E, O, E, O, E, O, E, O, E. But every other one that you're going back to those E's, it's your checkpoint to feel. Am I feeling it in the front or is it only back here? Hear that light singing? You don't want that. You want it all in the front, like it's coming out. Almost like those magicians that pull the, um, you know what I'm talking about, that pull the flags out of you. It's almost like that, e -o, e -o, e -o, focusing out instead of letting it stay back here. All right, let's go through this more up and see what we can do. Big breath. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. Good, again, stomach breath. are going to do one more low one. I want you to remind yourself to be really relaxed in the body and you're not pushing out at all in these low notes. Just as relaxed as you can be. Try this next little big breath. Good. Now, we purposely started with your chest voice because it's a little bit easier for most of the people. Now we're going to get to the good stuff where you might start feeling the break. We're starting out right this first note for the ladies that might start to feel like a break. Just remember, as we go up, if it's having a hard time coming out, you're like, e -o, e -o, or it's feeling it's flip-flopping back and forth a little bit, that's okay. We're gonna get there. Just keep trying to feel this E in the front. E okay, you ready? Get the biggest stomach breath you got. E Feel 
like it's resonating really great. If you're having a hard time, you can switch to the ooh vowel. Ooh is even easier to feel in the front, where it'd only be ooh, and feel that sound, feel it resonating. and feel the difference between that high note versus the low note. Hopefully you can feel that and starting to get more and more comfortable knowing which is which. So when you're flip-flopping it, you can feel that. I want you one other little short thing where we're gonna go E, O, E. The words are just E, O, E. It's just gonna be a little quick jump, but I want you with both of the sounds, E and O, E. Don't let it sink back here to E. Ho, almost use an H to like blast it out. Almost like if something was stuck in your throat. Ho, try that. E, ho, E, good job. E, ho, E. This is super good for when you start doing jumps in the songs. strong when you blast that ho like that okay again if a ho is a hard syllable always go back to ooh ho. ooh is the easiest for finding your front section and as you go you can work your way to e a is always hard if you're singing a song with a just so you're aware of that um this next little if you go into the next lesson here in this module it's going to be playing the song stay with me and we're going to work on an actual song singing that a and singing through your break so push the next button